Oh dear, this may be yet another scheduling conflict, as Why I Want continues for episode... What are we on now? Episode 8 of Season 7? Something like that? Not really too sure. But these videos come out at 10 a.m. PST every Sunday, and if you know me well enough, you know that my two favorite teams, the Canadians and the Canucks, are going to be playing at this specific time. So, when it comes to the scheduling conflicts, hey, that's kind of my bad, but, you know, can't really go out there and argue against the NHL, right? And it's not like these videos are going to go away. If anybody wants to see prospect coverage throughout the year, then these videos will always be there. But when it comes to this new episode for Why I Want, we're jumping back to the top of the ship. The last few episodes have talked more so about guys in the middle to later first round areas of the draft, guys that have been talked about for various reasons outside of their draft projections. This time we're being a little bit boring and just using the projections to guide our narrative. As today, we are talking about the guy who is consolidatedly ranked in the second overall spot behind Macklin Celebrini. Today, we are talking about the demigod himself, Ivan Demidov playing for SKA 1946 St. Petersburg in the MHL. Now, Demidov is 18 years old, 5'11", 168, as a left-handed right-wing center, signed till the end of 24-25 with his SKA squad. Now, he does have the later December birth date, which is why he is 18 already, but despite him being an 05 or an 06 baby, his consolidated ranking is smack dab right there at number 2. If you go throughout the list, you could see varying reports as to where he should be ranked. The highest is number two. That's given to him by Elite Prospects, Daily Faceoff, a few other outlets like Sportsnet, Recruit Scouting, Dauber, and Smot Scouting. He's ranked number three in a few places, and he's ranked as low as number six and number seven by Bob McKenzie and McKean's. However, it should be noted that a lot of these rankings, especially the TSN ones, have been criticized quite a bit ever since their publications, so... The scouting community will have their own things to say about these rankings, but when it comes to Demidov, there's a reason he is ranked in the second overall consolidated spot. Because this season, he has spent a bulk of time bouncing up and down between the KHL, the VHL, and the MHL. Just in case you needed the refresher, the KHL is the top league in Russia, the VHL is the second tier league, kind of like the AHL, and the MHL is the junior hockey scene in Russia. Demidov has played five games split in the top two leagues in Russia. He's had zero points, but the fact that he even got games played is already impressive in and of itself. But playing for SKA's MHL junior team, in 23 games played, the guy has 20 goals and 25 assists for 45 total points. He's a plus 36, which is pretty nuts when you think about it. And he's carrying over his junior production from last year, which was already pretty stacked at 62 points in 41 games played as an underager. Ivan Demidov has some crazy good numbers, and it gets even crazier when you acknowledge just who else in the MHL has produced at this rate in the past. Go over to all-time season-by-season records for U19 skaters going back the past 20 years or so, and you'll see that Ivan Demidov's 23-24 is the best season we have seen out of any of these guys since Evgeny Kuznetsov, Nikita Kucherov, and Matvey Mishkov. The crazy part about that is Kucherov and Kuznetsov both accomplished these seasons that you're looking at in their draft plus one years. Ivan Demidov is outscoring Kucherov at a younger age than when Kucherov had this number. Again, because Demidov is born in December, he has the U19 label attached to him rather than just the U18 year. But even if you just think about Demidov as a guy who is eligible for the draft and talk about draft eligible seasons, he's still outscoring the bulk of the competition. Now, if you want to talk about the immediate comparable that everybody's going to bring up, Matvey Mishkov, the Philadelphia Flyer 7th overall pick from last year, had himself a draft-eligible season's worth of production in the MHL of zero points because he was actually in the KHL. So realistically, you could say that Mishkov has had a better standing and track record compared to Demidov. It's just because of Mishkov's contract situation, that's why he slipped all the way down. He probably could have been closer to Bedard than any of the other players had everything just worked out. 
But when it comes to Demidov and how he's able to get these points, where exactly is this production coming from? Let's go out there and read a few comments to really get an idea as to how he plays. The Elite Prospects Draft in Europe guide goes out there and says that Demidov can keep it on a string while going at full speed, using his hands and lateral move to his forehand to destabilize the defense. That is probably the best aspect of Demidov's game that stands out to you right away when you watch the footage. How this guy is able to skate around in the offensive zone. He kind of looks like a bender a little bit. When he really gets that mojo going, he's got both of his legs just planted down using the heels of his skate to move around. And if anybody comes over to him, he'll quickly deke right away from pressure, open up new lanes to the net, open up new passing lanes. He is just such a dirty dangler who has has fantastic hands that react in tight and who is able to create offense with some crazy good vision to go with those hands. Even if you check out some of the other scouting reports, this is my NHLDraft.com that goes out there and talks about Demidov. Here's a scouting report published by Kyle Cushman on the score from December 11th. He's not the best player in the class, but Demidov may very well be the flashiest. He's a human highlight reel, combining silky smooth hands with quality shooting and playmaking. Sebastian High of Dauber said that Demidov is the most creative, dynamic, and skillful puck handler we've seen since at least Jack Hughes. His seemingly innate escapability, versatile inside edges, and great mobility combine with his handling skill to consistently create scoring chances for himself and his line mates with tremendous flair. Sam Constantino said that Demidov is highly competitive with hockey sense and makes him a reliable player in all three zones. Injury issues will help keep him on the sidelines until the new year. And then there are a few other scouting reports that are talking about how he was sidelined for a while, his limited KHL ice time would hold him back a little, but how there still was a projectable frame here. And then you have Corey Pronman on The Athletic from November 1st that kind of describes his game in a pretty good sentence. Demidov has game-breaking skill to go with a strong motor. He is all over the puck when he's on the ice, making high-end deeks seem routine, and flying around the offensive zone, making plays or winning battles. Here are some extra things that I thought were interesting to go out there and note in regards to Demidov, not just regarding the points, but regarding everything else as well. Here's a tweet from a few nights ago after a... SKA 1946 St. Petersburg game from Hockey News Hub. 2024 NHL draft update Ivan Demidov with one goal and one assist on February 8th. He's currently on a 16-game point streak, which has seen him score 15 goals, 26 assists, and 41 total points in this 16-game span. He is averaging more than two points a game against other junior competition that's all older than him. The MHL is like any other junior league. You've got guys in the 18, 19, 20-year-old range. Of course, Demidov is 18, but he just recently turned 18. So being able to do this at this level whilst outproducing legends of the past like Kuznetsov and Kucherov goes to show just how dominant of a force Demidov's profile is. And if you go over to Byron Bader's model, which is fairly popular and talked about on Twitter nowadays, you've got this tweet from February 2nd talking about how four of these units in the past two drafts and seven of them in the previous three decades and change. What is he talking about? Well, he's going out there and discussing the top-of-the-line production rates for some of the top prospects in the past two drafts. He's essentially saying that when it comes to guys in the past 30 years, we've had about seven names that really stood above and beyond in terms of the numbers, but in the past two years, we've had four of these guys. Last year, it was Connor Bedard and Matvey Mishkov. This year, it's Celebrini and Ivan Demidov, who, if you take a look at Demidov's overall rate, he has a 56-point NHL equivalency score. And his current draft year comparable names are Wayne Gretzky, Mario Lemieux, Sidney Crosby, John Tavares, and Phil Kessel. Demidov has a 99 percentile chance of becoming an NHL star, not an NHL player, but a star. So, if you are like many of the individuals who use Twitter and follow Byron Bader and you try to incorporate his model into your thought process of players, 
then Ivan Demidov may very well be one of the top playmakers we have seen in the NHL draft the past few years. Probably, maybe, the most dynamic since Jack Hughes, the most elusive, the most creative. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below about Ivan Demidov and his demigod-like status heading into the NHL 2024 draft. I hope you enjoyed this video. And bye.